Welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzi, but today I bring you something very simple, very delicious, and this is a French toast billet. Now for my ingredients, I have got about half a cup of butter, that's 113 grams. I got one tablespoon of vanilla, I got a half, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, some salt, some milk, about five eggs, and I got some brown sugar as well. So I'm going to start by melting my butter. This is over medium heat. And uh, for the sugar I'm using, you could use anywhere between half a cup to three-fourths of a cup. That's about 100 to 150 grams of brown sugar, however you like it. You just want to mix it well, make sure there are no lumps in your brown sugar and it's melted. And I'm using half of vanilla, so that's about one and a half teaspoon and then one half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. And then we're just going to pour this into my pan is 13 by 9 inches. You could use any kind of pan. You could use a baking sheet pan, you know, the cookie, the big one. You could use those too. Now for my eggs, I just add the rest of the vanilla and the cinnamon powder. Just mix it well. And then we're going to add the milk. That's a 3 fourth cup, which is 175 ml. And that's it. This is very simple. Oh, I forgot the salt. Uh, that's a quarter teaspoon of salt and then we're just going to cut the bread. I'm using the whole wheat French bread. You could use uh, white French bread, you could use challah bread, whatever bread you prefer. And then we're just going to soak this very well into the milk mixture. Uh, you could do this ahead of time. You can do it at night, soak it well and then keep it in the refrigerator and you can bake it the next day. I do that most of the times when I have a lot of going on. This is my to-go um brunch item i'm the brunch queen <laughs> i love brunches so saturdays there's always brunch in my house so yeah so once that's done i just add uh, you know finish try and finish the rest of the uh mixture and i've got my oven on 400 degrees fahrenheit that's about 200 uh, celsius and then once that's done we're gonna Put it in the oven for about uh, 10 to 12 minutes and then you're going to just flip them over. Just flip them over on the other side and then you're going to put them back in the oven for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. All right. So once they're done and they look like this, so gorgeous, you know, the color is so amazing and the uh, the flavors, the aromas in this kitchen is just to die for. So that's it. This is a very simple item and it's a crowd pleaser. You will love it. So we're just going to serve it. And what I like to serve it is with some fruits on the top. And I've got my signature blueberry sauce. I do have the recipe for this. If you're interested, I'll put the link in the description box. You could use it with that, or you could just um, sprinkle some powdered sugar and add any fruits. So if you don't want to do any fruits, it's still okay. They are so beautiful on their own. So thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Aroma Zanzibar and you'll find all the ingredients in the description box below.